November 11th, 1918 was originally known as Armistice Day. It ended World War I, which was thought to be the war to end all wars. World War I ended on the 11th day of the 11th month at 11, when Germany signed an armistice with the Allied Powers. Congress honored those veterans of World War I by naming this day Armistice Day. However, World War II, which was unfathomable, occurred and Congress thought it was important to honor all veterans, so they switched the name of Armistice Day to Veterans Day. When Francis Scott Key wrote the Star-Spangled Banner almost 200 years ago, he called the America the land of the free and the home of the brave. Those words are as true today as they were then. Throughout this nation's history, America's soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and coast guardsmen have bravely answered the call to defend our freedom, to aid our friends and allies, and to turn back aggressors. We can never fully repay our debt of gratitude to the more than 650,000 American service members who died in battle for the 1.4 million who were wounded. We can however recognize and thank the 25 million veterans still living today. The following words are inscribed on the Korean War Memorial in Washington, D.C. Our nation honors her sons and daughters who answered the call to defend a country they never knew and a people they never met. Those words apply equally to many of our World War I, World War II, Vietnam War, and Gulf War veterans as well. They apply to today's active duty service members, tomorrow's veterans, who are helping to maintain peace throughout the world. This week, it is our privilege to say thank you to all the America's veterans, to let them know that we appreciate them for their service and honor them for their sacrifices. The price of freedom is high. We cannot afford to forget those willing to pay for it. Each day of this week, we will have a segment where we celebrate America's veterans for keeping this nation the land of the free and the home of the brave. Congrats to these Red Ribbon Week Chalk Art Contest winners. First place with the ship, Morgan Hayes and Sydney Shucker. Second place with the anchor, Mandy Duran, Selena McDonald, and Kristen Ball. Third place with the Superman Art, Destiny Hillary, Taylor Castro, Meadow Miller, and Caitlin Williams. A huge congr congrats to senior Sam Grubb, who was recently named All-State in Volleyball. We are super proud of you. If you are, inter if you are interested in being on the Elgin Bowling Team, please see Caitlin Reeser or Chelsea Cunningham for more information. Tryouts are tomorrow. At the Wichita Academic Conference Tournament Thursday, the Elgin team, composed of Haley Hampton, Ian Templeton, Garrett Johnson, Amber Strange, Aspen Wright, Joseph Templeton, Michael Hurley, Anthony Capel, Kaylin Fant, Rachel Bateman and Bailey Wright tied for first in the morning pool play and finished runner-up in the double elimination tournament in the afternoon. Well done, team. Any sophomores out there who might be interested in attending OSSM, Oklahoma School of Science and Mathematics, need to see Ms. Forehand for details about a sophomore preview day. Deadline is Wednesday. The, pre the preview day is November 16th. Any juniors out there who might be interested in attending a high school leadership conference at OU need to see Mrs. Forehand for details. Application deadline is January 10th. Cost is $100, which includes three days worth of meals, lodging, and a t-shirt. Conference is February 21st through 23rd. Any seniors out there interested in scholarship money? There's a GE Reagan Foundation scholarship that is worth $10,000 per person and is renewable up to $40,000 per recipient. Looking for promising young leaders? Application deadline is January 9th. See Ms. Forehand for more details. The National Honor Society also has scholarships ranging from $1,000 to $13,000 each. Selection is based on outstanding performance in the four criteria for NHS membership. Scholarship, leadership, character, and service. Application deadline is January 27th, so seniors step up and see Ms. Forehand for more details. In NHS news, we are still collecting donations for PAWS. If you have picked up some, please work at getting donations and turning them ASAP. If you have procrastinated and have not come to pick up your paws, you need to do so ASAP. Remember, we still need old blankets or towels for bedding for animals at the shelter. The next FCCLA meeting is tomorrow in room 30. Remember to save your soda pop taps for the community service project at the Ronald McDonald House on November 25th. Attention EHS student body. Your book would like to proudly announce that they are doing a full spread in this year's yearbook over current fads and fashions of the everyday teenager at Elgin High School. Tomorrow, the yearbook staff will be searching for students to photograph who are wearing the following. Fake glasses, colored jeans, Miss Me jeans, Uggs, Toms, Bobs, band shirts, cowboy clothing, Sperry's, Choco Tacos, shaved side of head, buns, mohawks, different colors of hair, mullets, beards, bows, mustaches, gauges, piercings. Tattoos and the last two will be worn during the picture only and then must be changed since it's against dress code. Bro tanks and yoga pants, leggings. 
Please remember that the more who participate, the better the spread will look. In other words, we really do not want the same five people, but rather a random selection of our entire student body. There will be a junior prom committee meeting tomorrow at 8 a.m. in Miss Amy Young's classroom. We will be deciding prom theme and colors. If you want to voice the decision, be there. There will be an NHS meeting on Thursday, November 7th at 8 a.m. in the library. The genetic update conference is November 14th and permission slips and money are due by November 11th. See Ms. Forehand, Ms. Osborne, or Mr. Carter for more information. If you are a freshman or sophomore gifted and talented student and would like to go on a trip to the Stafford Air and Space Museum in Weatherford on November 19th, you need to get a permission slip and sign up in the office. It will be $2 admission and you will need money for lunch. You must sign up this Friday. Remember to sign up in the office if you wish to take the ASVAB here on campus on November 20th. Today for lunch we're having beef tips with gravy, steamed rice, squash, green beans, fruit and milk. Tomorrow for breakfast we're having breakfast burritos and tomorrow for lunch we're having ravioli. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States, States of America. America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please join me in a moment of silence. Have a great day. America!